Today's episode of Film Ride is brought to you by Squarespace and FreshBooks Online Invoicing. Dude, I'm telling you, there's something wrong. And I'm telling you he's fine. I don't know, Ryan. He's been acting kind of crazy. Hey, new guy, how about shut your trap before duck rape? You don't consider that? What? Consider what? He's fine, and he's gonna continue to be fine. Do you want me to go to prison? You think I'd last a second in the slam, trading cigarettes just to survive? Shanking fools to up my cred so I don't get crept up in the shower in the middle of the night? No. You're ridiculous. What, is duck, what does that even mean? He's acting weird because you're treating him weird. No, I'm not. Yes. Duck rape? You let it go! We got a show to do. So get your game face on or get the stepping. Really? Get the stepping? Sorry, it's prison talk. Are you ready, buddy? Yeah. All right, and three, two, one. Hey there, all you lovely people out there. How's your morning treating you? Grand, I hope. But you know what I always say? Grand is just one E short of grande. But anywho, huh? Today we're gonna be showing you how to make fake blood for your filmmaking purposes. Or as a beverage strain from Buffy for me to consume! So the first thing you're gonna Whoa. need... What was that? I was clearing my throat. That sounded like words to me. Nope. Okay. And three, two... So let's jump right into what you're going to need to create your own fake blood. You're gonna need some corn syrup, cornstarch, powdered cocoa, red, yellow, and green food coloring, some water, and a container to store it in. It's a short list that you can fill for cheap at your local grocery store. I will usher in the coming apocalypse! So now that we have everything we need, let's jump right in. Take your corn syrup and add two thirds of a cup into a bowl. Then add one third of a cup of water. And now you want to give it a bit of a mix by getting the water and syrup combined into one unit. All shall kneel before me, fire and brimstone! So now grab your cornstarch. Okay. Do you need a break? No. And I think Bruno might be right. It seems like you're And if you interrupt me again, we're gonna have a serious problem. <laughs> yeah, no problem. And three, two. So take that cornstarch and add five teaspoons of it into your mixture. Now grab your red food coloring and add in four teaspoons. Then take the powdered cocoa and scoop in one tablespoon. Abandon all hope for I will consume your soul and tickle your anus! Why would you want to tickle someone's anus? Finally add two drops of green or yellow food coloring to get your color right, mix passionately, and you're done. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And you can add even more corn syrup to thicken it up if need be. But let's get something to compare it with, shall we? Hey, JT. Come here for a sec. Me? Yeah, it's okay. Come on over. Alfred Hitchcock chose to shoot Psycho in black and white because Hitchcock wanted to shoot it in as low a budget as possible and because he felt the film would be too gory in color. But back in the day, newsreels were black and white and so the film's lack of color actually made it feel more real for the audience. Why do I bring this up? Well, since the film was shot in black and white, they opted to use chocolate syrup for the blood in the shower scene instead of normal fake blood. See? Ended up making sense for the episode after all. 
I'm not a big fan of getting punched in the face, but every time I do invoices, that's kind of how I feel. Like I'm getting punched in the face and I don't really know why. Like the offending party is just like Bleh, and then runs away. And I'm like, why did I do that in the face? But then I found FreshBooks and stopped feeling like I got punched in the face. FreshBooks is an easy to use online invoicing service that saves you time, gets you paid faster, and makes you look professional. And it keeps you from feeling like you got punched in the face. And getting started is completely free. Just go to freshbooks.com and sign up for a free account. And as an added fun thing that they're doing for Film Riot viewers, they're actually giving away a birthday cake once a week to somebody who signs up from our show. All you need to do for a chance to win is go and enter Film Riot in the How Did You Hear About Us section when you sign up. And it doesn't have to be your birthday to get it. And then you could get your birthday cake and it'll ease your woes of getting punched in the face. Or feeling like it, not literally. But well, if you get the cake, that means you're using fresh books, which means you don't feel like you're getting punched in the face anymore. Because the cake is just the icing on the cake. Logo. He's eating something. It's probably a person. I can almost. Oh, it's a cat. Oh, I don't really like cats. Yeah, me neither. All right, you guys wait here. Whoa, where are you going? I have to shoot the second half of the episode. I'm gonna go away, he's distracted. You can't just leave us here. You're fine, you're with Bruno. I'll protect you. You can't just leave us here. Just sit tight and stay alive, no matter what occurs. I will find you. Last of the Mohicans. He left us! He left us! But that's not what I'm gonna do. Jurassic Park. Um, hey, uh, so I got an email. Hello, Film Riot. Hello, email. I wanted to know how I could make fake blood with just household type stuff. Now we did show you one of the more popular ways to make fake blood in the beginning, but I wasn't completely convinced that it was the best way, so I grabbed a few directions offline and tried one of my own, then put them all against each other to see which looks best and which would stain my skin or clothing. So let's do it to it. First one I tried was another one of the more popular versions, which goes a like this. First, a bunch of corn syrup, then about 10 or 12 drops of red food coloring, depending on how much blood you're making. Then one drop of yellow food coloring and one of green. Now I'll pour it onto my hand so you can see the color and thickness of the blood against my skin. I actually like this one a lot more than the original one we did. But I also heard that if you add a bit of dish soap to that same mix, it'll help to keep from staining your skin and clothes. So I added some dish soap to that blood mix, then took the mix without the blood and the mix with the blood, added it to different sides of my hands, rubbed it in, let it sit for a few minutes, then washed it off. As you can see, there's pretty much no difference on either side of my hand. They both came off really easily. The next one I tried was super simple. All you need is some dish soap again, apparently to stop stains, and some red Kool-Aid. Pour them both into a cup, then stir. This one worked far better than I thought it was going to. Looked pretty good, just a little bright, but with some color correction, I think it would work well enough. And if you ever find yourself in a situation where you're like, oh man, all I have is fruit punch mix and dish soap, and I need fake blood now, you can make this. Though I don't know that that moment would ever occur. But if it does, you'll be like, <laughs> Ryan. But now I threw that mix on the sock as well and let them all continue to sit. Moving on, I tried one that sounded very, very interesting and that is using creamy peanut butter. Yes, peanut butter. So it's peanut butter, red food coloring, and corn syrup. I was excited about this one because I was hoping that it would be like a homemade thick blood, which is almost like blood putty that you can apply and it stays without running. But that's not what I got. I mean, it wasn't terrible. If you used it with some other application like nose and scar wax, I think you might get some good stuff out of it, but by itself, it kind of sucked. But then I spread it all over my hands and found that it was actually pretty good for like a blood soaked look without it running out. Plus, it's edible, so you could have like a sicko killer lick the blood off his fingers if you want, or any other kind of zombie situation. Then finally, since this wasn't the homemade thick blood I was hoping for, I decided to make a mixture of my own. So I added some cornstarch, then red food coloring, just a little bit of corn syrup to make it manageable, and then I stirred like crazy. I was really happy with the outcome. As you can see, it has a really good color and is very thick, so it would have a lot of uses. Then I applied it to my skin and found that it was really easy to work with, and even though it's dry, it looks wet. 
Plus it stays really well. No matter how much I shook my hand around, it stayed perfectly in place. So then I put it under some running water to see how it would hold up to that since the blood will start to run once your actor starts sweating and it stood up surprisingly well even to running water. So I think with your actor sweating, it'll stand up pretty well. And cleaning it off was just as easy as the rest of them. But finally I threw this mix on the sock as well and then let them dry for about 20 minutes. Once the 20 minutes were over, I filled my sink with hot water and shout. Then I labeled each blood spot so that I knew which was which and then put the socks in and just rubbed off the blood. After about a minute or two, you can see that they all cleaned really well, except for number two, which was the Kool-Aid mix, which was also the only one that stained my hand as well. And yes, I know those socks look like they're from a homeless person. We use them for a sketch, so lay off. But there you go. A few recipes to try, but in my opinion, the ones to use are the first mixture and my made-up mixture. A little pat on the back. With those combined, you can get some cheap, good, homemade gore for your family. Squarespace offers users an easy, flexible solution for anyone looking to create a blog, personal portfolio, or any kind of website. And don't worry if you have any questions or issues, Squarespace offers every user 24-7 support. Squarespace just pushed a brand new social widget for geolocation services that displays your most recent check-ins from Foursquare, Gowalla, or Facebook places on a live Google map. Many of the internet's highest traffic web pages are powered by Squarespace, including hours. So go check out www.squarespace.com forward slash film right to get a two week free trial and learn more. And that's it for today. So go into the world and make loads of fake life liquid. And if you have any questions or just want to be my digital friend, you can follow me on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash Ryan underscore Conley. And before I go, some huge awesomely awesome sack news is that Film Riot has been nominated for a Webby. Crazy, right? Cool thing is you guys can help us win this bad boy by voting at this link. Currently we're losing to YouTube. So help us the underdog crust Google giant by going and voting. Then tell your friends to do the same. Or don't, if you don't want to. Either way, I love you, sons and mothers. And I'll see you next week when I go in search of a one-armed man. See? I'm back. What?